LA adds Flaherty, Kiermaier at deadline, everyone is excited. Kopech, Edmund, Rosario also acquired in trades to address Dodgers' needs. The Dodgers entered the final day before Tuesday's trade deadline aiming to add an impact starter. They achieved their goal by acquiring right-hander Jack Flaherty from the Tigers in exchange for catcher-slash-first baseman Theron Lorenzo and shortstop Trey Sweeney. In a separate transaction, the Dodgers also acquired center fielder Kevin Kiermaier from the Blue Jays in exchange for left-hander Ryan Yarbrough, who was designated for assignment on Monday. With Yoshinobu Yamamoto and Walker Buehler on the injured list and Bobby Miller struggling significantly this season, the Dodgers openly acknowledged the need for an impact starter. By securing Flaherty, Los Angeles fulfilled that need, as the right-hander provides a solid option for the rotation and could play a key role in a postseason rotation. We had a ton of conversations with a lot of teams over this last week, said general manager Brandon Gomez. We felt like getting an impact starter was a very high priority for us, and Jack is definitely that. His command, his stuff, the swing and miss, we feel like that's a real power option come October, so he fits into this rotation really well. The Burbank native, who grew up a Dodger fan, was having a career season with the Tigers, posting a 7-5 record with a 2.95 ERA and striking out 133 in 106 and two-thirds innings. Flaherty made a couple of mechanical adjustments at the start of the season and has recaptured the level of performance he had in 2019 with the Cardinals. Since then, Flaherty has experienced many inconsistencies and injuries. He was traded by St. Louis last trade deadline to the Orioles before signing a one-year deal with the Tigers this offseason. With these improvements, the Dodgers are counting on Flaherty to lead a postseason rotation that should also include Clayton Kershaw, Tyler Glasnow, and Gavin Stone. If Yamamoto becomes healthier, he will also be part of these plans. If not, the Dodgers now have added depth to protect themselves from any unforeseen injuries. In addition to Flaherty, Los Angeles was also connected with White Sox left-hander Garrett Crochet and Tigers left-hander Tarek Skubal. Neither Crochet nor Skubal were moved on Tuesday, so the Dodgers shifted to what they believed was the next best option. Left-handed reliever Tanner Scott was also a popular name, but the Padres acquired the Marlins closer with a last-minute bid. A Jack, he's a guy that's been wanting to be a Dodger, being from the Valley for so long, said Dodgers manager Dave Roberts. So to get that done, I'm really excited. Roberts mentioned that Flaherty is expected to join the team on Wednesday in San Diego and should be ready to make his Dodgers debut at some point this weekend against the A's. Kiermaier has had his share of struggles at the plate this season, but he provides the club with an elite defensive center fielder. On Wednesday, the four-time Gold Glove Award winner announced he will retire at the end of the season. The 34-year-old will play against right-handers in center field, especially while Tommy Edmond, who was acquired from the Cardinals on Monday, is on the injured list. We're excited to have him, a Gomez said of Kiermaier. Talked to him earlier. He's really fired up. We know what he brings to the team on the field. It's gonna be double-plus defense. His speed, he's an exceptional person and teammate on top of that, so we're fired up to have him. In total, the Dodgers addressed several needs before Tuesday's deadline. Michael Kopech, whom they acquired from the White Sox as part of the three-team trade that brought Edmund to LA, provides the Dodgers with much-needed depth in the bullpen. When healthy, Edmund can contribute more production from the bottom of the order. Aimed Rosario, whom Los Angeles acquired from the Rays on Monday in exchange for AAA righty Michael Flynn, and Kiermaier offer the Dodgers even more options off the bench. It wasn't a flashy trade deadline for Los Angeles, but it was one the club hopes provides enough depth to carry it the rest of the way. I think looking around the clubhouse, everyone is excited, Roberts said. We moved the needle I think in a lot of ways.